What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slay. Welcome back to my 2K16, my career. Let's play Ebenezer's Revenge. There's like an eyelash in my eye, and I don't care anymore. We're going. We're just gonna start recording now. Fuck it. Who cares? It's Friday. Yes. Uh, and I'm fighting Randy Orton, and my authority goal is to do two finishers, which I usually do anyway, because obviously I'm on hard, and that's usually what it takes to put anybody away. But fighting Randy Orton for the first time in quite some time, my baffling is falling over here in the main event as i should be against randall keith orton on smackdown so we have reached the end of the week internet and news is happening uh and that's fantastic because it gives me a damn thing to talk about here on this show as i choke slam randy orton uh first and foremost a bit of housekeeping in terms of hey do you have a WWE Network subscription? I don't, because I got hacked that one time, and fuck them. But if you do, if you have a Network subscription, and perhaps you are sharing it with a friend or family, there is a new restriction in place, and that restriction is thus. Even though you are certainly allowed to have your login information on multiple devices across, you know, your computer and your phone and your PS4 and whatever else. Uh, now, you are no longer... I shouldn't have done that. You are no longer allowed to stream from multiple places at the same time. You can stream from multiple devices. Uh, here's... yeah, that. But you cannot stream, say, if I had an account and uh, you had an account and we had the same password, you know, uh, you know, if, if you were related to me and have my name and password. If I was watching Payback and you wanted to watch Payback at the same time, no, not working anymore. It used to work that way, but they are cracking down on multiple users on the same device. So, will that actually increase their their revenue? Probably not, but uh, that's, I think, I think Netflix does that as well. I actually don't know. I haven't used Netflix in a number of years, but Yes, that is a big change from th how things were previously handled uh, in terms of their network stuff. So be forewarned if you have a shared account with somebody else and perhaps, you know, you're splitting the cost or whatever. Uh, you can still have a shared account, you just can't watch things at the same time. And honestly, that's only really a problem for, for pay-per-views uh, because otherwise, you know, it's not, not, that, not that, that big of a deal, to be honest. Okay, so what else is going on here? Um, apparently Dolph Ziggler's brother, and not the one who was in Developmental and got, you know, released. His other brother is apparently wanted for murder, and that's kind of wild. Like, what? Um, that's a interesting, I mean, you know, you really can't choose who you're related to. And so sometimes those, those people do things that are messed up, and uh, that's pretty messed up. Uh, so, I, I seen that in my news headlines this morning. Um, they were doing some NXT tapings, and that's where most of the rest of my news comes from here. Um, and we'll go from the smallest bit of news to the biggest bit of news. Uh, Tornado DDT. Uh, the biggest bit of, or the, the smallest bit of news, or, uh, is that Finn Balor gets his rematch against, uh, your NXT champion, Joe. Uh, which may or may not bode well for a main roster debut. I guess the thought was that he would drop the belt and then debut on, on the main roster, and that obviously has not happened yet. Um, but hey, it could still happen. Like, they had, um, Kevin Owens on NXT and on the main roster at, at the same time in that beginning of that Cena feud. So it's not unheard of to do both. Um, so, you know... You don't necessarily have to have a clean break um, with that stuff. So, anyway, uh, he, he, he's going to get his rematch against Joe at the next uh, TakeOver event, Ebenezer. Um, that's one. Uh, what else? Bailey might be hurt. Um, that's not conclusive. That might, might you know, that, that might have changed at, at, over the course of the past, you know number of hours that I heard that news that she might have gotten hurt at, at that taping of uh, leg or ankle or you know knee or Fez press um out of nowhere yeah that, that's, what, that's what Randy Orton does out of nowhere um and then obviously 
the largest bit of news there is that Eric Young showed up at NXT. Uh, which, you know, former TNA World Champion Eric Young uh, has now... Uh, apparently he's fighting next week. Um, and he came out and, and interrupted a Joe promo. Um, so that's interesting. Um, certainly when both... Bobby Roode and himself left TNA together. Everyone was like, well, are they going to NXT or Japan? And we had heard that Bobby Roode was in negotiations uh, with WWE. Um, but he hasn't shown, he, to my knowledge, has not shown up yet. Um, and perhaps is still under some kind of negotiation. So it was surprising to see Eric Young show up first. Um... So, in any event, uh, that is that, that is compelling. I think of those two, I think Eric Young is the one that I enjoy watching more. I think he's certainly quite talented. Uh, so I'll, I'll be looking forward to what they do what they do with him here. Um, but I feel like this was definitely kind of a non compete clause type deal because considering how far TNA tapes in advance, they just had. Like, the final episode with Eric Young on, on TNA. Like, that just aired recently. Like, last week or something like that. So, uh, and keep it going for a while. So, that stuff, uh, you know. You don't want another Lex Luger situation, essentially. So, I'm, I'm sure there was a non-compete until he was actually off TV, so. And I'm just, like, not paying enough attention to the match here, apparently. Apparently... On this fine Friday, uh, Spear! Um, anyway, yeah, that's kind of, uh, the headlines going around town. <clears throat> on this fine Friday morning, um, as I record this. Actually, it's, it's actually after lunchtime, which is, uh, out of nowhere! Yeah, I know somebody said to stop doing Move Thief, but man, it... Manages to, to you know, change things up a little bit. These boring ass matches. And there we go. I have defeated Randy Orton. Perhaps I'll do another one. That was actually kind of quick. Um, as we uh, continue to make our way through the 2K16. Wait, what? I. You didn't say it had to be two of my finishers. You dumb pieces of shit. What the fuck? It just said two finishers. Be more specific. Fuck off. And now I got a Bernard Young interview saying how disappointed they are in me. And blah, 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 blah. Triple H says this and whatever. Please join me in welcoming my guest tonight. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it, Renee. I don't want to talk about it. About what happened out there tonight. Yeah. It feels like the authority is very. I don't know. I did two finishers. Fuck you off for me. Seriously. I did what you said. Uh, Triple H deserves better from me. I'm just gonna say, say, say that. I don't even give a shit. I know. I know. I would first like to I'm gonna apologize. To apologize. Whatever. Whatever. Skipping it. So, did that actually affect my stuff at all? I have no idea. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Oh, hey, Jack Swagger. I, I, I bet we, we fight him three fucking times this week. Um... Yeah, that put my that, that put my my prideful down to the middle, and now I gotta get back up into the blue. None of that fucking matters because I can't figure out how to get rid of aggressive. Um, and someone said to get rid of move thief, so I guess we'll do that for a little bit. But still, I I like move thief. It 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 amuses me. So we'll change move thief to ring escape. Fucking whatever. Um, like it doesn't say that. Hey, move thief is a heel move. Uh, you know, it says you you humiliate them, but it doesn't say it's a heel move. Um, so, I don't know. We'll stop doing that one for a little bit, I guess. But I I enjoy Move Thief. It, it, it gives some, some variety and some fun to those matches. Anyway, Jack Swagger. Let's... Not even the main event? Like, middle of the fucking show, really? Alright, well... Don't want. I honestly don't want to fight him three times in one fucking week because uh, that seems to be what they what they do late, lately, and it's really annoying. 
So, we're going to get the same old cutscenes doing the same old... Actually, no cutscene. That's shocking. So, do I squish the crap out of him for, like, you know, Raw and SmackDown and then lose at SummerSlam? Is that going to be the storyline going into this match here? Because uh, I don't see any other options, really. I mean, I could lose to him all three times. That would actually go faster in terms of getting things done. Because obviously the whole point is to lose and then win, win it back to be a three-time champion, but <clears throat> I don't know. We're a lot of hours into this. I am very uh, distracted right now by other video games. Like, I wish I was playing that Neo demo alpha right now, because that game is really good and really hard. And I can't be the first boss in that game, and it's fucking pissing me off. And I honestly have not spent nearly enough time with Dark Souls 3 or Knights of Azor. I gotta finish up uh, Trails in the Sky second chapter. Like, there are games that need to get played right now. And I'm sitting here fighting Jack Swagger. Who's gonna give me the gut wrench? The low gut wrench. Okay. Oh no. He is such a contender here for my belt. Yep. Former world champion. Jack Swagger. He had the swaggy. That was that was a, uh, a a sub sandwich for those who don't recall that that thing on SmackDown. He had like a Big Show feud and like, nobody cared. Nobody cared. But he did have the Swagger Flying Eagle, which was great. That was fantastic. I enjoyed that a lot. I have a clothesline. What are you doing? Here we go. I punched him like back of the head. Like, it's fucked up. So dangerous. High risk maneuver here. Going to the top. Doing the flip. Doing the... He's doing the gefilte flip. Obviously. There's your... There's your move name there. Gefilte flip. Anyhow. Let's just keep on... Adding insult to injury. Oh. Reversed it. Nope. Just getting punched in the mouth. More than six years, Jack Swagger has not done that much in WWE. Although, obviously, getting busted for weed or right, right before Mania didn't help him at all. Right, he won Money in the Bank that one time. I forgot about that. Totally forgot. And I am just sleepwalking through this match. The fuck am I even doing? There we go. Give him a choke slam. Come on, give him a choke slam. Not cool, Jack Swagger. How'd you get a finisher and not have a signature? Or was the chop block your signature? It might have been. Come on now. That totally, that, that that timing is occasionally off. Like if I, it, it appeared on, over my head like way too early. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Nope. Yup. Nope. What a counter that was. Alright, Swagger. It's time for your first meeting with the Ebenezer. Boom. And I'm gonna follow it up. With the Gefilte Flip. From the top rope. Gefilte Flip. Pinfall. Count it, ref. What the fuck are you doing? Get in position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Near fall. Eat it. And then fuck off. Um, what was that? Well, he backed up to get a running start. Weird. Now he's pooping? What are you doing, Jack Swagger? Stop pooping in the ring. Not cool. Not cool. Nope. Not today, too fast. Flapjack. I'm not sure how I fucking did that, but Flapjack. Uh, I've been forgetting to do 
this stuff. Not this stuff specifically, but the um, limb targeting I've been kind of forgetting about for some reason. But also, I didn't even look at my authority goal for this match, so let's look at that. Oh. Wor working holds? Don't care. They can, they can continue being upset with me. I don't, they don't give a shit. Really don't care. Eat it. And eat it. But also, eat it. Oh yeah. Eat it. P.S. Eat it. P.P.S. Eat it. Alright. Nope. That got reversed. Yes, some reversal. One of many in this match. Nope. Suplex City. Alright now, boy. What? I was gonna roll him up. But, uh, it didn't work out for me. Now I have no stamina. I got no stamina. He's not, he's not even close to getting a uh, fucking signature. So, what the fuck is this shit? Really? Really? That fucking... Really? Alright, let's see here. Oh, come on, I hit that. Nope. I'm missing all these fucking reversals today. It's really just harshing my buzz. My energy is being sapped by... Not the balls! Not the lower midsection. I've got no stamina. This is garbage. There we go. Something. Side Russian leg sweep to the all-American. American! F5. Circle! Circle! Oh my god, I did it five times. Yes, yes, yes. I should have just picked him up and gone for the, uh... What the fuck is happening? Chop block, it's bullshit. I'm hitting there, mashing on triangle, and he goes to reach for it. And then I lost. And then I lost. I'm so busy complaining that I let Jack Swagger beat me. Well, enjoy your win while you can, Jack Swagger, because you're going to get this belt, and I'm going to get it back, and then I'm going to just forget all about you. That's the plan. Now then, what are the chances they're going to have me fight Jack Swagger again tomorrow? I'd say the chances are pretty good based on past... Uh... Gameplay experience here. And past bullshit. Yup, there it is. That's tomorrow. And then the fucking day after with more Jack Swagger. It's Jack Swagger weekend. Fucking hell. Anyway, I'm Attack Like Thanks for watching more videos every day. And I will see you next time right here on this channel. Have a good Friday and I'm out.